All right, everybody. Dave, ABQ, SCNC. We are going live. Today, we will be opening up 1991 World League. Inaugural set, 150 cards in the series, so there's a good chance we're going to get a full set here, if not a little more. Cards to look for in this set are Jason Garrett, now the head coach of the Dallas Cowboys, and John Layfield, otherwise known as JBL in WWE. John Bradshaw Layfield. So just want to let you know what we have going on besides this. This is today, the World League set. Next week is basketball. C. Rogers, welcome to the stream. There are a couple other streams here, so like always, I think it's just going to be us two today. Next week is basketball. We are going to be opening up 93-94 Series 2 Tops NBA Basketball. As well as 2017-2018 Donruss. This one has a chance of a autograph or memorabilia card in each box. And next month, we will be opening this 1991 Series 1 Pro Set. This is one that has the Bill Belichick rookie card with the Browns. PSA 10s recently sold in the last couple weeks. PSA 10 of that is uh, going for about $170, I believe. Insane. Uh, PSA 9s drop really big in price. They are um, down to like, I believe it's $12 or something crazy like that. So we do get our boom box before that shows up. So I will save the one touch in case we do get. Hey, Bill Belichick, we have been getting more than one head coach card per set because they didn't, I guess the card companies really didn't think they were going to be awesome, but for some reason, this one is going for really good. There are errors cards in that set as well. Like I said, in this set, World League, there is uh, Jason Garrett, now the head coach of the Cowboys, and John Bradshaw Layfield, JBL from WWE. He was part of the San Antonio Riders, and his card is in here as well. Give me one sec. I got to turn my fan on. It is hot as blazes here today. Okay, there we go. So we went to the flea market today and got some stuff. Got a couple things. The I do better, I, I think, at the antique malls. The flea market had a bunch of stuff, but everybody wanted, like, crazy prices for it. Like, there was a long box, probably about the size of this. And that's what I'll be putting the cards in today. It's the size of that, of uh, action-packed, I think it was, like, 1992. And they wanted, like, $20 for it, and it didn't even have, like, everybody. So I was like, nope, no thank you. All right, so let's get on to our break. See Rogers. You got the top left and the top right. I want to thank you again. I will be getting with you later about something. I don't know if it's important, but um, I'm hoping you'll you'll dig what I have going for you. And let's get started. We got this uh, box from Game Time Sports Cards. And collectibles. We want to thank them. 
And let's get going. World League. Oh, these packs look great. So they're little mini boxes. I don't know. Do they, are, are these things going to have a full set already here? That's maybe what it's looking like. See, Roger, you may have got just a full set. This might be the shortest video ever. Let's see what we got here. Real rookie cards, World Bowl stats leaders, 10 helmet collectibles. That's looks and looking like what maybe we got here. Let's pop this bad boy open. Yep, yeah, one through 150. There are four complete sets in here of 150 cards. So that means you are definitely, there's no shock here. You're definitely getting a com two complete sets of this. I know you said you already had it, so we'll find the ones. Let's see. All right. So we got the World League Pro Set, official league card. I'm not going to mess with these too much. I'll give you the other two that I haven't opened. That way you have two unopened sets of these. London Monarchs. We'll just go through them real quick. London Monarchs, World Bowl Trophy kind of takes the... The mystique out of it. Barcelona versus London. Barcelona versus London. The Barcelona Dragons. I remember really liking their symbol. Birmingham Fire was pretty cool. Frankfurt Galaxy. London Monarchs. New York, New Jersey Knights. Ah, oh, your box is gray. Okay, I got you. Orlando Thunder. Yeah, this was the inaugural year of what they were doing. Raleigh, Durham, Skyhawks. Sacramento Surge, San Antonio Riders, which is where the team JBL was on. Eric Wilkerson of the Knights is card number nine. Stan Gelbaugh, Judd Garrett, Tony Baker, Byron Williams, and Eric Wilkerson side by side on this one. Chris Moore, there's one that I remember. Chris Moore, he was an NFL player. Chris Moore. Errol Tucker, Carl Painter, Anthony Parker, Danny Lockett, Scott Adams, Jim Bell, Lydell Carr, Bruce Clark, defensive end, Demetrius Davis, that name sounds familiar, Scott Ernie, quarterback for the Dragons, Ron Goats, linebacker. Cisco Marcos, Paul Palmer, Tony Rice, and Bobby Sign. Looks like they're doing it by the team here, too. Gene Taylor, Barry Voorhees, Jack Picknell, head coach of the Dragons. I like that sweatshirt. That's like an ugly sweatshirt type sweatshirt, but it looks kind of cool. I would wear that. Kenny Bell, we're onto the Birmingham Fire, Willie Boyer. John Brantley, Elroy Harris. So you're getting two of these. John Holland, Arthur Hunter, Eric Jones. They are going to be sealed up. It's like the one I just opened here. So that's that's very cool. John Miller, Maurice Oliver, Daryl Phillips, Chan Gailey, been a head coach and offensive coordinator. Tony Baker, Tim Brody. I believe so. I believe that, like, they had to have so many just to get the um, the European people to root for the teams as well. Jason Johnson, Stefan Maslow, Mark Mraz. I believe he ended up playing, playing in the NFL. Yuppie, Mike Perez. Yeah, I'm digging these cards. I always loved uh, the pro set cards. They had pro line and score. Jack Elway, head coach, uh, Theo Adams, and Jeff Alexander. But I always was into the pro set cards. Like, 
I think it was just because it didn't have the border that took away from the pitcher. And it just it just looked great to me. I I guess uh like it wasn't the standard pitchers that they were using. Paul Dana Brinson, Marlon Brown, Diedrich Dodge, Ebudiki, Chorus Urban, Steve Gabbard, Judd Garrett, Stan Gelba, I remember that name. Watching their games, Roy Hart. The XFL is doing like a big tease right now. Um, like they're showing like part. Yeah, the pro set always had had great stuff. I don't know why. Like it just never caught on like the other ones did. But Doug Marone, Kent Sale, Larry Kennan. Uh, yeah, XFL is doing like a slow reveal of the team logos. KD Dunn, Ricky Johnson. Another Chris Moore, Bjorn Nitmo, Michael Proctor, Richard Sheldon, Tracy Simeon. Yeah, I can't believe that that Belichick's going for $170. If 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 you look up 91 Pro Set Series 1, Bill Belichick, and go to the sold for a PSA 10. Jeff Graham, Jeff Graham was an NFL quarterback. Kip Lewis. The tens are like 170 to like 190 dollars for that Bill Belichick. I used to love going to the arena games when I lived in Las Vegas. Arena football was so fun. It was just totally different than what the NFL was doing. Haven't been to a game since we've been out here. I know they do have a a team. But yeah, when I lived in Vegas, I would at least try to go to two or three games a year. Wayne Davis, John Guerrero, we're on to the Orlando Thunder now. Myron Jones, Eric Mitchell, Billy Owens, Carl Painter, Rod Sterling, Errol Tucker, Byron Williams, Mike Withycomb, Don Matthews. So we should be getting close to. Clarkson Hines, good seeing uh, our guys here. Bobby McAllister, Daryl McGill, Pat McGurk, Sean Woodson, Roman Gabriel, head coach, Mike Elkins, Victor Floyd, Sean Knight, Pete Najarian, Carl Parker, Richard Stevens, Curtis Wilson, Kate Stevenson, Ricky Blake, Donnie Gardner. There he is, Jason Garrett. Jason Garrett, one of the better cards in the set. Started three games for the Riders in 91. There's Jason Garrett, Mike Johnson, Andre Johnson, and John Layfield. There's JBL right there. WWE. I believe he's in the Hall of Fame, JBL. I knew he played, but apparently he went to Texas Christian and does a mean impersonation of Hulk Hogan. That's funny. JBL, John Layfield, Mark Ledbetter, Gary Richard, and Tim Walton and Mike Riley. So that was quick because all the other ones are going to be the same. They're all boxed up. I'm going to give you two of the... Um, the unopened ones. I'll take the one that's open. I'm good with that. Uh, let's see. Uh, I got some other stuff we can open real quick. Just to do something here. Let's see what we got here. Because that is like the shortest box opening ever. All right, so I'll tell you what we'll do. Since uh, that was anticlimactic because all the cards were there and there was no chance of not getting anything good, we're going to open a three-point box in preparation of basketball next week.
I can't wait to see if we get a Belichick. Our hobby pack is the same one we got last time. Past and present basketball. We got the Spud Webb autograph in that one in case you missed that video. Complete five cards. Another complete. And upper deck 91, 92. So same thing we got last time. So we'll just go in the same order. Kelly Oubre Jr. Malcolm Brogdon rookie card. That's pretty awesome. Ben McLemore. Dwight Powell. And Omer Asik. Gray parallel. All right. So let's see what we got here. Another pack. Devin Booker, Tyler Ennis, Joaquim Noah, showing off his Knicks gear, Thaddeus Young, and Monta Ellis. Old school pack here, nobody does it like Upper Deck. That's the motto. So uh, I'll give you your choice here, C. Rogers. There are two hits in here. One's a memorabilia card, and one's an autograph. I haven't looked at them yet. I haven't opened the box yet. I will give you your choice. Do you want the first one that comes out, or do you want the second one that comes out? Haven't looked at them. Haven't even pulled them. You get to pick, since uh, there was no drama here in the cards. Joe Barry Carroll with the Suns. Tim McCormick, I have no idea what they're going to be. So it could be something really, really awesome, and it's going to be yours. Blair Rasmussen. Just for buying in, being the only other person watching this stream. Rod Higgins, Kevin McHale. So I gave you the option. Um, I haven't pulled any of the hits out of this three-point box yet. There are two. One is a memorabilia card. One is an autograph card. Do you want the first one pulled or the second one pulled? I haven't even looked at them. The box has been sitting right over here. Like I said, just for being awesome and watching the streams and buying in on the breaks, I am giving you your choice out of this box. Andy Toulson. Robert Parrish, Billy Thompson, Myron Brown, the second one. You got it. All right, so C. Rogers has picked the second card. There are two hits in each box. Each box, we're not even going to open this. Each box comes with an autograph card, a memorabilia card, one hobby pack, and three packs. I have offered to give C. Rogers his choice, and he has chosen the second hit. Last time we got a hit out of this pack. Del Curry, probably not going to be out of this one. Del Curry, oh my goodness. We got an autograph of Ray Williams. This is two hot corner boxes in a row where our hobby pack got an autograph. This autograph is guaranteed by Panini of America. Ray Williams, Sticker Auto, Elusive Ink. The Spud Web was right on the card, but this one is a Sticker Auto. Ray Williams, New York Knicks. That, wow, how often does that happen? Going to put him in the back here. Can't believe it. Two hot three-point boxes in a row that we've gotten an auto in the Hobby Pack. I thought for sure the Hobby Pack came out of like the same box, so there was no way. We were going to get it, but we got another autograph card. Evan Fournier, rookie card. Rise and shine, Sean Marion, and Sean Marion's regular base card for past and present. You still, right? <laughs> These three-point boxes have been pretty good so far. All right, so 
Are you going next one up, which would be number the second hit, or are you going the second one out of the box? Since we are we since we already got hit number one. We got hit number one. You can take your choice of the next card or the card after that now, since that would be number two. Second out of the box. All right. So we're just going to go in order here. Top one. Looks like a WNBA card. It is an autograph. 53 out of 99. Rookie card, Dirica Hambry from Wake Forest, WNBA Serial number autograph, 53 of 99. Looks like a silver parallel, maybe. That's very cool. All right, you wanted second out of the box. This is going to be it. It's going to be the memorabilia card. Haven't been a big NBA or WNBA fan since Lisa Leslie left. She went to, um, what was it, Inglewood High, which was right, like my... My best friend growing up went to that high school, and he also was the one that went to Fresno State where we watched uh, Dilfer play. That's when Dilfer was playing. Next one out is Chris Kamen. Chris Kamen, majestic relic card from Panini Crusade. Game-worn material from Chris Kamen. Chris Kamen was also a Los Angeles Clipper, so I've seen him play in person. Panini Crusade, Majestic, Chris Kamen, Relic Card. That is your C. Rogers. Very, very cool. We'll add that with your two complete sets of World League. Central Michigan University. Very awesome. See, you picked the right one. All right, so this is probably going to be our shortest live stream ever as the pro set had four complete sets in it it wasn't packs it was just four complete sets the other three are right in here see rogers you're going to get two of them i'll take one of the open ones i'm good with that it still leaves me one as we didn't have any other sponsors so don't forget basketball next week um i will get with you later and uh i'll send those cards and the ones from yesterday out to you shortly I also got, um, so last month we did a box of these. I got these from Steel City Collectibles. It is a 2014-2015 NBA from Donruss. Uh, last month we got a serial number hot box. So I'm hoping... We get the same. Hopefully, it's not from the same case. If it is, hopefully, we'll just get a regular hot box. That would be pretty sweet. So, basketball next week. And then after that, we will be doing our mismatch week where I show off some of the stuff that we got from the flea market and the um, the antique stores. Thank you all for watching. C. Rogers, you're the best. I'm going to be sending these out to you. And uh, we'll catch you guys later. Going to do some live streaming later. and. Uh, probably some other things. So thank you guys for watching. As always, stay safe. Have a great night. Thank you very much, C. Rogers, and we'll see you guys later. I'm going to try to turn the live stream off right this time. Have a great night, everybody. Thank you for watching.